good morning. Yes, it is Friday and you are at Georgia Growth Point and we've come to an end of the week and we've been speaking about growing our faith. So important. We need to grow our faith, grow our faith in the understanding of who we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember this, I said that we have the fivefold ministry embedded in our hearts through Holy Spirit. And at any time, the Holy Spirit can allow us to function in those giftings that has been given to us, the church. So today, growing in faith reveals who you are in Christ. Come on, <laughs> you are more than a conqueror in and through Christ Jesus. Again, Ephesians 4, 11 through to 12 says this, and he that is Jesus gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers for the perfecting, the equipping of the saints. Though this is what we do. We are there to equip the body of Christ. We are there to equip saints. We are there to draw alongside of some people, some people that have just come into the knowledge and the understanding of who they are in Christ Jesus now to help them, to equip them. That is why you have the teaching ministry in you already to teach them the pastoral ministry already there to take care of them. Some of us need to come alongside of, of some of those weak Christians who are struggling with doubt and you need to teach them. You need to equip them. You need to bring them into unity of the understanding of what Jesus Christ has done for you. Listen to this. Sam Matthews said this. He says, these gifts that are given for the church, the apostle lives with the leader, the prophet lives with God, the evangelist lives with the lost, the pastor lives with the people, and the teacher lives with the word. Isn't that wonderful to note that, that again, all this is right here and we live with God and we ask Holy Spirit to live in us and through us not so that he could be be the one that will manifest his giftings in us and through us and and again just allow him to reach out by faith this is again you do it by faith allowing him to reach out to those who are unreached you you have family members that need Jesus come on you need to put them on your prayer list you need to pray for them you need to ask God to open up a door so you can get in there and reach them with the good news now notice again it is good news notice this we don't bear bad news we we we, we come and we are carriers of good news we want to bring good news to those who are desperately in need of good news let me tell you this world has just got bad news but our good news is this that jesus christ is soon to return not so and that you need to be born again that you need to come to the acknowledgement of what jesus christ has accomplished for you upon the cross of calvary Calvary. And so as one grows in their faith, so they grow their giftings by simply equipping the church to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. That is why we do this, to equip the church to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, not man. I see too many men, their congregation serve the man, not Christ. We are yeah to serve the Christ that is in the man, not so, not to glorify the man, but to glorify the Christ who is in the man, not so. We respect our pastor, but we understand that he is there to equip us as well. And that is why the fivefold ministry works in through that pastor who preaches and shares and teaches and, and pastors us the way that he does. Why? To help us to grow in our faith. There is a lost world that needs to hear the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God is looking for gift carriers, not title carriers. Can I say that again? God is looking for gift carriers, not title carriers. And we have too many title carriers out there today. Too many men that are that are that are being worshipped instead of the Christ being worshipped we're looking to man because of his giftings and yet you know what the very giftings that he have dwells inside of you if you've accepted Jesus Christ I've got good news for you that the fullness of the fivefold ministry already dwells inside of you all you need to do is learn by faith to activate those gifts that are in you you see a title does not save one a title cannot heal one a title cannot deliver one. The only one that can do that is the Lord Jesus Christ. And what do we present to a lost eternity out there? Jesus. Not so, because the only way to the Father is through the Son, Christ Jesus. Again, I want to emphasize every one of the gifts of the fivefold ministries have been given to equip the church for salvation found in the person Christ Jesus. And you are a gift carrier. You are a Holy Spirit gift carrier 
carrier. Come on, Holy Spirit dwells with inside of you. And because of Holy Spirit dwelling with inside of you, the fullness of the Godhead is there. If you are a Christian, then ask Holy Spirit to use you wherever He needs you to be used. So come on, allow Him to equip the church in and through you. You are God's gift and allow Him to use you. Until next time, you stay strong in the understanding of who you are in the person Christ Jesus.